on the XRP ledger, trillions of dollars will be moving around. Moreover, this is not a ridiculous idea. It is possible to do so. What do you think about it? Everyone is welcome to join us on the channel. This is Nick, my name. Those of you who are new to the channel, I hope that by the time you reach the conclusion of this video, you will have subscribed to the channel. This is a message to all of the viewers out there. If you are not already following me on all social media platforms, you should start doing so right away. Look down in the description below and follow me on all social media platforms. If you haven't already, you need also sign up for the free Discord server in order to completely dominate this industry and bring in a significant amount of money. Having said that, let's get started with this, shall we? As a result, we can see that the volume of stablecoin transactions reached an all-time high of 2.8 trillion during the second quarter of the year, clearly. The market is expressing its desire for a digital dollar that operates on contemporary rails. On the other hand, if we take a more in-depth look at this, we can see that stable coins have been one of the most important things that I have been concentrating on, particularly beginning in the year 2022. Those of you who have been following the channel for a considerable amount of time are aware that in the year 2022, there were $11 trillion worth of stable coins. Honestly, this is completely ridiculous. We are currently experiencing a bear market. The stable coin settlements totaled $11 trillion during the bear market. Visa had $11.6 trillion, just for your reference. According to this statistic, if we keep moving at this rate, even if we round it up to $3 trillion, is that correct? Mostly due to the fact that we are aware that the hype train is going to return, we are. Aware that the retail industry is making a comeback. Even if we reach $3 trillion, it would be $12 trillion in only one year. Compared to what we agreed upon in 2022, that is a massive increase. Now, by the way, this is an example of my being conservative. What's more, this is much beyond visas. Certain sums of money were settled, comparable to one of the most extensive payment networks currently available. Just how insane is that? As a result, it is a significant matter that we are concentrating on stable coins. As a result of this, when we go and have a look at the Ripple stable coin, which is scheduled to be released in the third quarter, and guess what? At this point, we are nearing the end of the third quarter. There is a need for us to be ready for this. I want you to pay close attention to what Brad Garthinghouse is saying to you. In addition, I believe that there will be a number of players competing in that market. This is the space that Ripple is entering. There are certain clients for whom we already utilize stablecoins in our payment flows. The usage of stablecoins is contingent on the currency pair and the corridors in which we enable payments for our customers. As a result, we are already utilizing USDT in certain instances, and USDC in other instances, we believe that it is only logical for Ripple to be present in this market as a trusted, very compliance-centric, and compliance-centric, and compliance-first modality. As a result, we have publicized our intention to enter the market. However, we have not yet gone live. Our goal is to finish the third quarter or close to it. That's exactly right. Therefore, once more, we do not know if it is going to take place in the third quarter or possibly even in the fourth quarter because they are looking at and targeting the third. Or, what is going to take place is a mystery to us. One thing, however, I will mention right now. Additionally, you might quote this or clip it to your clipboard. Within a short period of time, the Ripple stablecoin will rapidly expand to become the most numerous stablecoin in this sector. People are saying things like, oh no, it's going to be still Tether, it's still going to be Circle, it's going to be Circle, it's going to be this, it's going to be that I notice a lot of people saying these things. Ripple is not going to be successful with their stablecoin, and anyone who tells you otherwise is completely ignorant of the fundamentals. There is the possibility that we may sit around and discuss the performance of XRP. Ripple is not the same as XRP. It is not Ripple that is in charge of XRP. All things considered, Ripple as. A firm has been completely dominating. They are connected to a large number of influential players. They have been working with institutions for years and years and years and years. And for well over 10 years now, they have been leading the pack in terms of performance. Their expansion has been going at a rapid pace. Is it correct that they are in the process of expanding the stable coin on the Ripple network? This is the utilization of the XRP ledger. And it is important to keep in mind that the stable coin also makes use of the ledger. The XRP cryptocurrency will benefit from this. Quite a bit of money is going to be brought in by it. There will also be an increase in the utility of XRP as a result of this, because the ability of a stable coin to open doors of possibilities regarding institutional DeFi projects is something that it can do. Over here, we have revealed that the key purpose for establishing a stable coin and integrating it with its payments platform is to better its Ripple payments solution for international transactions. This was revealed in a previous revelation. 
As an alternative to using XRP, the stablecoin will make it possible for consumers based in the United States to use Ripple payments to leverage stablecoin for international payments when it comes to. What Ripple is doing at its core, I see stablecoins as a complement or even an accelerant to what they are doing. During a recent interview with the chief executive officer of SCB10X, Garlinghouse made a remark. As we take a look at this, it is clear that the XRP ledger is still being used, even though the stablecoin has been implemented. Both the XRP ledger and XRP continue to benefit from this complementary service. Ripple also published a post in April that discussed the global financial system and how it is witnessing a unanimous growth in demand for stablecoins that are built around utility, liquidity, and trust. This post was published more recently. I have now broken this. Down for you over here. Should we have a look at this, right? Ripple intended to develop a USD peg stablecoin that would be backed by US dollar deposits, US treasuries, and cash equivalents. It was anticipated that the market would reach $3 trillion during the following four years. With the help of XRP, the stable currency intends to bridge the gap between traditional finance and decentralized finance by increasing liquidity and providing support for international banking transactions. However, everyone is concentrating on the fact that it is likely to take the position of XRP and international payments. Listen, everyone is forgetting that this is going to be the bridge between traditional finance and decentralized finance. This means that if Ripple is very successful on this endeavor, which I believe they will be, imagine all of the massive TradFi names coming into this industry, you know, Ripple Payments Channel, if you will, around DeFi initiatives as well. As a result, Ripple is concentrating on institutional decentralized finance. Ripple's compliance first approach and its comprehensive regulatory portfolio establish it as a reliable bridge between traditional finance and digital finance. This is true even down here in this region. The XRP ledger will be utilized by the Ripple stablecoin in order to facilitate increased adoption and development in. Institutional and DeFi use cases, hence contributing to the growth of a diverse ecosystem. There are enterprise-grade blockchain solutions for financial institutions, regulatory compliance with licenses across key global regions, enhanced liquidity on the decentralized exchange, transparent one-to-one -one reserve backing with monthly asset attestations and multi-chain compatibility with issuance on both the XRP ledger and Ethereum blockchain. All of these features are included. While they are strengthening their position as a major provider, they are also strengthening the position that XRP holds in the market. This was made available to the public on the 30th of July, which is more current. Ripple, a member of the Digital Euro Association and the Digital Exchange Association, is creating its very own stablecoin. The RLUSD cryptocurrency will be made available on both the XRP ledger and the Ethereum blockchain in order to compete in the rapidly expanding market while maintaining a focus on trust, compliance, and accessibility. There are a number of reasons why Ripple's RLUSD will cause a disruption in this stablecoin market, and we will discuss them here. In addition, if we scroll down, we will notice that this has been touted as a game-changing answer. The new stablecoin has been hailed as a possible solution to the problems that the market is now facing due to the fact that it exists on two different blockchains, RLUSD was developed to circumvent restrictions. Taking this into consideration, we can now understand how Ripple intends to emerge victorious in the race for stablecoins. Not only are they an absolute giant in this space, but we have also been there, therefore how will they be able to achieve it? Their hidden weapons are trust and obedience with their demands. Users who are concerned about the controversies that are troubling some. Stablecoins could consider Ripple as a trusted option because of their established track record and robust relationships. In addition, they are focusing on incorporating real-world assets such as equities and bonds onto the XRP ledger, which will further eliminate the gap that exists between traditional finance and cryptocurrency. Let's give this some thought, shall we? When we consider that they are putting a significant amount of emphasis on tokens,